Good morning! It is very close to 4 a.m. and I am waiting for my Uber because I am headed out to New York today. I am leaving Cole behind. It's my first trip without Cole and the longest, I think, trip we've been away from each other. It's only four nights and five days, which doesn't seem like a long time, but since we've been together, like we've spent pretty much every day together, so I'm headed on my first trip kind of nervous i get slight flight anxiety but i think it's gotten worse over the years flying with cole because it's very stressful to fly with the wheelchair the transfers so much to carry so it's actually interesting to just have a carry-on in my personal bag and not have a ton of stuff on me so i'm really enjoying that and and we'll see cole's like after you fly today you're gonna hate flying with me i was like never i like your company uh, it's just not easy flying as a wheelchair user i have a new job position and that's why I'm in New York for a retreat and I'll talk more about that when we get there but until then see you in New York checked into my hotel very small but this is all that I need I just need a place to sleep because I'm gonna be out all day most days anyway not in Times Square because Cole and I do not like Times Square but we're very close we're still midtown I have to just walk a little bit to get to Times Square I'm gonna open the window so y'all can see the view view hold on that's not a bad view I like that at least I'm not looking at Times Square like Cole and I were last time I'm struggling filming, babe. Okay, yay. It's interesting being here by myself because usually Cole and I like look up something on the map and I will go together. So this is weird being here by myself, but it'd be a nice little break, a nice little respite, but I'm here because I am a board member on United Spinal Association. So I'm here doing board member duties. It's a board member retreat. So there's some documents that I definitely need to review. We're meeting tomorrow tomorrow at 12 and then having dinner. And then all day Friday, we'll be doing a lot of board meeting stuff. It is gonna be nice to have a break um, as a caregiver. All caregivers need it. But I miss Cole. He already texted me as soon as I landed. I was like, I miss your voice and called me. And I miss him too already, but I'm happy to be here. Oh, I am exhausted. Charisma is gone. Sad day. It's pretty wild how we've gone so long in our relationship without spending time apart. It's very unnatural. I'm excited for Charisma. Let me just say, so I'm so proud of uh, what she's doing, going out and like owning this this new part of her life. I think it's so cool. I'm super proud of her, very impressed with her. But man, it is weird being uh, without her. I didn't know how I would react because I'm so happy for her, but I think my body felt something different. I think my body was nervous because last night, Charisma already had to get up super early for her flight. As we were going to bed, I just started like shiver. And it was the kind of shivers that like came deep from within. It wasn't just like throw a jacket on and it'll be better. Even though that's the case, I still was like, all right, Charisma, I'm so sorry for waking you up, but like, can I have a blanket or something? I'm just like shaking. And she's like, what's wrong? I'm like, what, what is happening? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm just like shaking. Another like 30 minutes goes by with the new blanket. I start dry heaving. I, like my stomach's just killing me and I'm literally dry heaving in bed. And of course that wakes Charisma up again. And she's like, what is happening? Are you okay? Like, what's going on? And I, I don't know, I was like, maybe it's the food. And she's like, well, I had the same dinner you had. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure that my body just reacted to Charisma leaving. <laughs> I didn't expect that, but um, my, body, my body knew something was going on. So it was gonna be uh, me hanging out, 
Mom's here, and I'm just going to twiddle my thumbs, I guess, until Charisma gets back, because I just don't know what to do without her, you know? I'll play some video games, but other than that, I'm gonna probably twiddle my thumbs. <laughs> but anyway, I'm very proud of Charisma. I'm just gonna go bide my time. See you later. Okay, so I'm at the hotel, had dinner with a friend of mine who is helping me with the project. That was really fun. And then I came back and called Cole and I miss him. So it's just weird, like being without him. But yeah, I guess I'm just gonna get ready for bed because I have a long day tomorrow, lots of meetings tomorrow, then dinner. I guess I'm gonna take my medicine and get ready for bed. And yeah, it just feels so weird without Coley Cole, I miss him. Here we go, swallow some pills. this and laugh. Woo, that was rough. I think I aspirated. <coughs> That's that. I'm gonna head to bed now. See you in the morning. Good morning. It is 11.30. I should be leaving like within the next five minutes. I have to head down to the Microsoft building for the first board meeting. I'm really excited, but I'm also nervous. I have major imposter syndrome. Basically, I just feel like I don't really like belong or I'm doing something I have no clue what I'm doing, but although I do, like I know what I'm doing. I know why they chose me to be on the board. I understand, but like it's a little bit of an insecurity, I guess you can say. When you show up with a bunch of lawyers and doctors and people with money, it's like, whoa, intimidating. Um, but I know my purpose. I know why they chose me. So I'm really excited to hopefully share some type of expertise. I'm excited. Let's go. This just in. Reports are showing that leaving your spouse behind can result in such loneliness and boredom. It's really one of the biggest causes of loneliness and boredom in all the world. Good morning. It is day two. Yesterday was long and exhausting. Uh, it was a lot to talk about and then after that we went to dinner so I didn't really have a rest until after dinner at like 8 39 at night and then I called Cole for a little bit and chatted with him and then just went right to sleep I was so tired but I'm going to head out to the office again let's get to the office sounds so weird to say Whew, that was a long day thankfully we ended early not thankfully it was great I really enjoyed it I felt like I learned a lot but I am just not used to sitting around for a really long time learning um not since college um but it was good I, I really I really enjoyed it I am curious though what Cole did back in Vir Vir Virginia oh my gosh back in California I wonder what he's up to I bet you he misses me because I miss him, so I really hope he misses me. I am back at the hotel room and I have a special guest. It's my father. Oh, so you're gonna you're pretending you're sleeping. Really? What do you think Cole's up to? Eating. You think he's eating? Well, I know Cole isn't eating because he always skips lunch, so I do know that. Oh, I didn't know that. He'll have like an apple for lunch and then just like eat a big breakfast and dinner, but never a lunch. Because he likes to work. He's a he's a hard worker. Like me. Yeah. And are you. you. Are you excited to walk around the city? Yeah. Spend yeah. time with you, help you out a little bit. I got us tickets to Lion King. Are you excited? Is that... Yeah. I, are yeah. you? Yeah. Well, yeah, you want to know something? Been to Lion King before. You want to know something even more exciting? We got second row tickets. What that mean? We're in the front orchestra. <laughs> second row. Oh, that means uh, that's pretty. That's that's yeah. <laughs> Thank you, baby girl. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah, I was excited when I saw that there were two seats in the second row that weren't super. Ex I was actually surprised by how much it was. It was not that expensive, and I was like, "Whoa, let's do it!" So I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. 
Wow. <laughs> I can't wait. They, they, usually they call that the spitting row. But, so yeah, we're gonna get spit on by the cast. Yeah, usually they, cause they, yeah. Yeah, we'll probably touch him. Yeah, I'm gonna get on stage. Oh, Cole, dad, they'll kick you out. Oh, I almost God. said Cole because Cole says something ridiculous like that. See, you match somebody just like you're, your daddy. You're, you're similar, there's some differences, yeah, but yeah, you're similar, yeah, yeah. the humor at least. Yeah, I'm bald headed, he's not. Yeah, you're you're black, I don't know if you realize that. He's, oh, he's white. I didn't see that, that wasn't the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> yeah, we always forget that too. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna go walk around Central Park and get some dinner at our favorite place, Mama Fuku. Cole and I go there every time, so of course we have to go now. That's not my favorite place. My favorite place is Dallas Barbecue BBQs on Third Avenue. Well, maybe we'll go there for lunch tomorrow. We could do that. In the rain? No, it's not gonna. It's not gonna rain during lunchtime. Remember? You know, Ophelia's coming. So there's a hurricane he keeps talking, or tropical, tropical storm, storm that he keeps talking about, but I think we'll be okay. It's not gonna rain during the afternoon, it's gonna rain in the evening during our Broadway show. So that'll be fun walking to the show in the rain. Cats and dogs, Lion King. He keeps saying that. Okay, let's go, time to go. So we just got- Fried chicken. All free. Well, you gotta try it first. It was hot. Is it? I think it just came out. <laughs> Good. What is it? What does it taste like? It's got ah, oh, I can't, I can't get the seasoning. Oh. I can't get it. I don't know. I, I can't get it. So we had to get our infamous buns that we get every time, and my dad is obsessed. Oh. Is your favorite? Yeah, cold. This is good cold. Yeah, it's Cole's favorite too. They have similar tastes, I guess. Out of ten, what would you give it? Ten. Ten out of ten. How was dinner? Company, you... company was good. Some of the stuff we picked were good. Yeah. Me being the company or the company of the restaurant? <laughs> you dear. Oh. So we're gonna go to Fifth Avenue. Are you gonna you gonna get me a gift? Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get you a gift. Yeah. Sure. From Prada? Um, I'm kidding. Oh, what store is that? I don't know what that is. No. Prada. <laughs> Are you gonna buy me something? Nah. Uh, nah. We're going to New Balance. Yes, New Balance. <laughs> that sounds better. Hey, I'm really getting concerned about Cole. Since Charisma left, he hasn't been eating. He seems emotionally like a wreck. He's thin. He's gaunt. It's very concerning, but you can judge for yourself. Hey, Cole, come on out. I'm coming. Do you need some help to the table? Yes. You need to eat. Seriously, you need to eat. I'm not hungry. It'll be okay. Seriously, it's gonna be okay. I've got the hurricane coming in. Well, it's more of a tropical storm, but we're still gonna head out in the rain. So we have three umbrellas total, and then you have a rain jacket. Apparently this is bad luck. No, it isn't. Opening umbrellas inside. Hey. Just Who sang that song? I don't know. Julia Andrews. There you go. All right, let's go. Today was an eventful day. Did a lot. We walked around a lot. It rained all day long, but we still managed to have fun. We had brunch, some amazing French toast. Is it good? Yeah, you go ahead. I'm with that phone. Really good. Really sweet, but really good. So if you like sweets, and then we went to museum, I think after that, the museum of Broadway, which was really cool. It was nice to see before going to the Lion King show. So we got to see like the history of Broadway. Um, and now we're back in the hotel and I am wiped. I'm so tired, I'm ready to get on home to Virginia and see Coley Cole and be in my bed, which will be nice. I'll sleep like a baby tomorrow night, which will be great. But yeah, are you ready to go home, dad? We move away, we move away, we move away, we move away. Oh gosh, okay. You like that? In a that? circle of life. Yeah, I loved it. It good. was really good. Are yeah, you I was surprised with the tickets and how close we were. Yeah, we were almost touching them. It was very close. We could, I could hear them talking. Yeah, it was like we could hear them from the stage. Yeah. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was great. Cool beans. Are you ready to go home? Your, your bus ride home? Yeah, I'm ready. Did you miss your wifey? Uh... Oh my no, not really. Just say yes. Oh, I'm supposed to say yes? Yes, I oh did. Oh my god. Cut that out. Cut that part out. I'm going to tell you something. Say, ask the question again. Nope. Ask the question again. You said again. what you said. Ask the question nope. again. Nope. Bye. Yes, I missed my wife. <laughs> oh man, it was such a... I wish she was here, but yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Going on my flight tomorrow. Bye.
Oopsies. I just realized I filmed that whole thing without volume. My bad. Sorry. It's okay. Oh man, I'm so sad I filmed that whole thing without volume. Let's just expect that there was a lot of, oh my gosh, hi, in that moment, <laughs> um, even though you don't hear it. So I'm happy to be home. I'm very, very, very tired. It was a very long trip. It felt like it lasted forever. But I'm happy to be home yeah. and relax. Just lay down. Yes. I need to drink some like ginger ale probably because my stomach is very upset right now. I'll kiss it. Thank you. Did you miss me? I did. Yeah. I wasn't doing well. <laughs> I turned into a skeleton at one point. Yeah. Not good. Not good. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm already better though. Good. I'm glad you're better. Yes. I'm glad you're, the skeleton's gone. <laughs> you're so silly for that. Mm, so happy to have you home. I'm happy to be home. Let's get you some rest. Yes. Let's do that. You got like scratch here. What I was fighting with Sophie. She fought me. I lost. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That was so much excitement. It's funny. She smelled my scent. Trotting in and then, wait, explain it. Well, she, she was just walking, came into like the kitchen area and then was like, and then just like beelined for the, like as soon as she picked up the trail, she beelined for the the bedroom, ran right into you. Dang, man, dogs, their scent is so strong. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know if that was gonna work, but she uh, she smelled you. Wow, uh, maybe I have a strong smell. Mm -hmm. She just knows mama, whatever I smell like. You do smell good. Thank you. you mm. Does that mean I stink? What? Does that mean I stink? Wow. I love all your smells. He likes my pheromones, even my stink. He especially loves my stinky pheromones. So whenever he tells me I smell good, I think I stink because <laughs> that's what he loves the most. I do like it. All right, can we cut this video? I am exhausted yeah. and Let's I want to bed. sleep for the night. The bed? It's four o'clock. Yeah, We're getting in bed? We're just gonna get in bed and relax for right the evening? Let's put you down. Go to sleep. Oh, I just cracked my neck. Okay, all right. all right. Thanks for watching our bi-coastal vlog. Yes. <laughs> I'm back. I didn't leave Cole forever. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay, Stay positive. positive. Bye.